in this video we're going to focus here on the chart.js plugin labels and you can see here what we will do is we will start to show on the pie chart the labels only if a certain condition is met for example here if the width of this or specifically the percentage of this is big enough if it's beyond 10% in that case we want to show the labels if it's smaller than 10% or 10% or smaller in that case we hide the labels so let's start to explore how we can use this in this video we're going to focus on one of the viewers question which is how to show label values on the pie chart based on condition in chart.js so this question came from one of my other videos but sadly enough I couldn't find the question anymore there the comment was gone however this was the question and this question came from Anna Karen Rivera Avendano so a special thank you to Anna and Kara for asking the question and this is what Anna Karen asked hi can you help me how can I make a reference to the percentages I want to return only the values of 10% and above to avoid overlap so if you are maybe confused what this question refers to is basically this here in here where we basically create the pie chart here but there's an overlap here and what Anna wanted to do was to remove it only if there's only a large slice of the pie chart at that moment we want to show it so let's start to do that so how do we do this but well, the first thing what we need is we need to get our default code here which you can find here on charges3.com getting started and for some reason I get this error but that's all right what we're going to do here we're going to copy this chunk of code here because this is what we need and if you want to understand what this code does watch this specific video that explains it all so we're going to paste this in here and once we paste that in here I'm going to cut this out and once I cut it out I will paste that in there and then save that and refresh all right so now we have this let's convert it into a pie chart we say here pie and we can remove here the scales because there's no scales on a pie chart so once we save this and refresh we have now a huge pie chart so I'm going to reduce the size of it and let's go here it's the amount of pixels let's put it on 400 pixels save that and refresh and there you are so now we have a very nice readable item so what we're going to do because this video was rela related to one of the specific plugins which is called the charges plugin labels so we're going to grab the labels plugin here and this is very important make sure you get the correct one there are multiple versions there's an old version and there's another version which is the latest version which is created by David Violante this is very important because it was forked from another one who didn't or who stopped developing it so someone else took it over so David basically took it over anyway what we need here we scroll down here and this is the specific link here what we need here is the latest version here and the latest version is basically this one here how do you know if you have the latest version you will see here chart.js plugin labels and then you see the initials of the developer which is David or David Violante so let's start and uh, put that in here so what we're going to do here we're going to put in here we paste that in there but of course we need to make sure we have a JavaScript tag ready and make sure it is always loaded after and I repeat after chart.js library why this specific chart.js plugin has dependencies in that is loaded in the chart.js library all right so if I save this right now and refresh all right it takes some time and you can see here it starts to work immediately by default it is showing the percentages and this was the question is if it would be above 10 percent or anything of 10% and above we want to show so in this case we should make a filter so how do we do that let's scroll down here and what I'm going to do here in the options we're going to put in here the plugins I'm going to put a plugin and in here we're going to use the labels why labels this plugin labels is directly related to the specific plugin we just loaded here it's this one here the charges labels plugin which has a special object of labels and then in here we can start to do something what we need to do here is a function basically what we're going to do is we're going to render and then, uh, what we're going to do is by default it is now on percentages so you can see here if we would say here uh, labels 
Let's see what happened. If I do that, nope. All right, that doesn't work. That's all right. You can ignore that for now. So what we really need here is basically specifically the argument. And then here, this is a callback. So we use a function or an arrow function expression, which is basically another word for function. And then we would be removing this, but now we have it like this shorthand version, which is better. And then what we're going to do is the following. We're going to say here what we want to return. We return here. Well, for example, we can do here now, just say arguments dot label. If we do this, it will show here the text here. And what we want to do is we want to show text plus an, a value, but if the percentage is below 10% or 10% and below, at that moment, we want to remove that value or do not display it to avoid the overlap. As you can see here, this would be fine, but if you would have another item as well, uh, let's say here plus, uh, well, let's do it twice. You can see here, now we get this overlap. And this might be maybe value or percentage, doesn't matter. We get here. All right, so how do we solve this? Well, basically here, all we do is if statement. So an if statement here, where we're not going to look at the value or the label, now we're going to look at the percentage. So basically, if we do this here plus percentage, you will be able to see here now, we'll, you will get the percentage. We can just save it like that. And there you are. So you get here 4%, 9%, 26%. All right. So what we want to do then is basically this. We say we this argument, if this argument is larger or a larger, no, sorry, the argument of the percentage is smaller than 10%, than 10, in that very moment, or, well, we can say only if it's larger, that will be, that make more sense. If it's larger in that moment, we want to return a specific value, or not only that, we want to return everything. So if I save this now, refresh, we should see here, and you can see here the orange, which is a small one, and the yellow doesn't show. What we could do here just to make it a bit more nicer, maybe is backticks. We're going to use your backtick, backtick. So we're going to concatenate that. So we say dollar sign this, arc labels. So we're going to say this, arc labels. Then you say here, dollar sign. And why we why we're using dollar sign with uh, uh, curly braces is because this is a value or variable. If it's a variable, in that case, this must be indicated like that. And here you can see this is basically a string. And because of the backticks, which, which is a key on, the, on your keyboard just below the escape button, so that's the backtick, with that we can concatenate without using so-called plus and then these kind of structures. That is normally what you're used to if you do concatenation. So now we can say this, and then we can say here dollar sign as a money value symbol. And then here this, here the dollar sign is related to this. And we could say here this plus, I would say, uh, as well, let's do this here, and I would say here dollar sign, argument percentage, and then we do here, at the very end, a percentage symbol. Save this, refresh, and there you are. So now we have this, and maybe we can remove all these items, but this is basically the way how you can play around with this. So if you like these kind of videos, and maybe you want to get even more deeper into the Charge.js plugin labels, which is very, very powerful, and especially nice if you're going to use for your pie chart or donut chart, I have an entire series here about how to use the charges plugin labels. There are over eight videos here explaining everything what you need to know.